intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back. And today I'm covering a video that I'm kind of going to consider in the new player's guide that I've done. But honestly, it's just something that I've been getting asked a lot of questions lately, including questions from players who were like advanced to the game. I mean, just because it's being asked a lot in the Discord lately. So take a short break from dealing with all the events and incursions for the month of July and talk about some base mechanics in the game, how things work and what it is, what it not important because I get a lot of mixed information getting posted around on this. I want to make sure we lay it out accurately for all of you. We'll be talking about the bonuses there on the far right side, the attack bonus, the defense bonus and the health bonus. Now, first point on that is that there are different maxing out parts and it is not correctly listed on most ships for this. So for example, you see this says 100% that you can track by the stats. However, you'll notice that three star ships will max out at 300%. Now it does not mean that four stars max out at 400. It actually can go higher than that. But just to give you a visual example, if you look in this Stella, 300% is a max. That is important. So we do want to know about maxing. So you've seen four star ships get over 500%. It will depend on the type of ship in terms of what level it's at and how quickly can you reach those bonuses. But we're going to focus on what these stats are and what they actually do in the game. I feel like that's a big point of confusion for a lot of people. Now, you'll see right now, I took most of the officers off the ship. We're going to leave this captain's crew here and then we'll put officers in these slots to show you what actually changes between the different types. Some of them, I think, have more value than others, but there's a reason for everything, including loadouts you might see and go, well, why are they doing that? So, number one, let's talk about what the three of them are. Attack, defense, health. What do those do and how can we show the correspondence of what they do? So, number one is attack. is going to actually increase the damage that you'll see in your DPR listing on the ship. Defense is going to change your primary mitigation stat, and then health is going to increase your whole health and shield. So, Right now, let's back out and go to the detail screen. We'll start at the very top, attack. You see, I've got an 80% bonus. Here's my armor piercing stats, my shield piercing stats, accuracy. Now, if I click on this little icon here, it says upgrade your ships to increase the damage per round. So the damage that you're putting out. And then here is your bonus. Now, the easiest way to understand how this works, I covered in a video, is you're going to simply take this as research. Think of it like you've got another research out there that's Let's just say you get a 100% bonus to PvP battle. And you're going to take 300, add it to 100. They're in the research, you know, category of, you know, when we're adding things together and calculating our damage. So we're going to take all that and say, okay, look, we want to watch damage per round. So let me go assign an officer real quick. Damage per round. Let's throw in Kang and then Carol. Probably the two that we use the most today. So there is our attack numbers. Now, those worried like, oh, well, I don't remember what it was before. Hey, no problem. Hit the screen and then hit this button. Bam. So left to right, you see the difference in the actual stats that are presented here for the ship. So what you ended up having right over there, you can see an increase in our damage per round. Our overall damage has gone up, but our mitigation stats, or in this case, piercing stats have stayed the same. Piercing stats are used to negate mitigation. So there's our piercing stats, shield piercing, accuracy, armor piercing. Didn't change, but we did it more damage. We're actually going to do a little bit more of a punch now when we hit something so we want to get that percentage as high as possible obviously so that's the more damage we're actually creating now if you come back you'll see we've got these bonuses here let's go ahead and look at the other two stats so we can get an idea of what they do so if we scroll over here we're going to take the attack one off the screen the old one scroll down you'll see defense reads against the level etc hostile you do this mitigation level now while that's important to note let's focus on the bottom Officers provide a defensive bonus, zero armor, shield, and then dodge. Now, what is that meaning? So if we do the next screeny that I've saved, oh man, loves that rev take screenies. Bloop, here we go. Officer defense bonus was 0%, now it's 160. Now look at what's changing. Armor, same. Dodge, same. But lots of shield deflection increase. Increased by 60,000, pretty significant. That's a third increase based off that officer bonus that we're getting. You see, you get added here, the actual click on the eye, you get the definition. Now, let's move over to the final one, take that off the screen, scroll, and now we'll do health. Now, what does health do? See, I've got shield health, whole health of three and five million. Let me put on the screen what it was before. Now, because it doesn't like to give you specifics, it likes to round this, you would have to add or go into this menu right here to see specifically what you're getting, whole health, the shield health. 
But in essence, the short of it is the whole stat that is in the officer bonus directly correlates to more survivability because it correlates to higher hull health as well as shield health. Now, hull health is the one that matters to me the most because that's what keeps you alive. Shield health is great. There are ways to you know mitigate the effect of a shield. And more mitigation is better than shields up sometimes. You know, you don't want to go down. Well, more than importantly, 900,000 more hull health means more survivability. So all that. Now let's go answer another important question. We're going to scroll down to this Stella right now. I'm going to actually give you all a question and answer time. If you think the stats on the right side are important, which they are, does it matter if I go above 300%? Answer in the comment section below. Here's quiz time. And it's okay if you didn't know this, because this is one of the biggest points of inform this information I see pushed out all the freaking time. Now, there are issues in the game sometimes where background stats have an effect, and, and you have things like, you know, armada issues. There's a whole bunch of things. But in general, just speaking strictly how the game works, if I take this off, is there any difference? See the stats changing. I take this off, is there any difference? take this off is there any difference the answer is no in terms of increasing your ship so like if i built that back up and i went back to twenty thousand, which you saw me have so discard changes and go back in here i'm at twenty thousand defense but if i took all these off and went back to ten thousand defense does that matter no the only thing that directly applies to the ship in this side is this bonus right here once you reach the maximum bonus for your ship tier you do not need to go any higher. Now, there are exceptions to this rule. What are the exceptions? Officers. If an officer uses a particular stat, then you're going to want more of that stat. So, 5 of 11 here increases armor, dodge, shield deflection by a percentage of the total health numbers on the ship. So, that's down here. So, we've got 300%, but if we knock it down, we still have 300%, but who got weaker? 5 of 11's ability got weaker in terms of supporting you and your ship. So that's the only time those extra stats matter. The 20,000 defensive stats I had didn't matter because nobody's using that. I can sit at 13 and be fine. All I've got to do is be at 300%. I can keep going lower. All that mattered was the 300%. Now, I did need it to build more for health. Now, that was just the ship that I you know, happened to have. And there, we just threw on some officers. 20,000 health now. So that's going to be the best possible mitigation I can build Thanks because I'm, you know, I'm hitting as many stats as I can below decks. So let's go ahead and discard that as well. So the primary goals in terms of what you're looking to do is depending on what you're doing, health or attack first. Like if you don't have the ability to max out all of them, you want to go health or attack first. Now, generally, I'm going to say health is going to be the best bet for most situations. There are exceptions to this rule. For example, if you're base cracking, and you're using like Rom as your leader on base cracking, you're not expecting to live, getting attacked first is more important because you're trying to get as big of a punch as you can so you need as much damage as you can create. That's it. If you are ghost going around hostile grinding, you want health first. If you're just going around doing armadas, you probably want health first. So getting to that max bonus is a priority. And then past that, you can do stuff like I've done here, which is have a below dex officer to boost whole health even further, which is what I would do on a grind ship like a Stella or, you know, going out with my auger to grind my daily hostiles. You want to reach that percentage because as we saw with the Valdor or even here, look, more whole health, 200,000 more whole health based on that particular bonus. This is the value of the officer bonuses on each ship. I want to reiterate because I get this comes to me every week and I'm not mad because it's just something that's happened before. And there are a couple of reasons why. But no, going above, there is not a phantom number here. There's not a phantom 500% you secretly get. But it does matter when it comes to officer stats and stacking below your decks for an officer. You know, Spock is one of the primary ones that you start with that technique and really focus on. But even look at an anti-faction officer. Let's look at Yuki. Romulan Grudge. Increases weapons damage by 150% of what? Health. So even faction officers that are going to focus on fighting a certain faction have a bonus versus that based on a stat in the game. So we want to work on that. We want to build around those stats, be cognizant of what they do. But I actually got asked before in my comments when I did the PvP crew video, I had a couple of ships. It was my Burrell, if I remember right. I think it was the you know, Burrell over here, which is still there. Where below decks, I had nothing. I had nothing there. Why? Because I had already reached my MAC bonuses. And I could have stacked defense, but it wasn't important 
because I had all these other PvP ships that needed stuff first. Now, would it have been good to stack stats for Spock? Sure, but the primary goal here was I'm just getting shield regeneration at over a thousand percent, so I have a little bit more wiggle room, and I just, you know, I knocked all these guys off, and I still had uh, 13,000, but probably would have wanted to get that 100% right there. But anyway, the point I'm making is, unless you have something that you need to use those stats for, the stats used are better suited for away teams or another ship. Now, in those cases, you want to use them. You want a stat stack, just don't stack stack needlessly. Like if you find yourself going, hey, I want two PVP ships, because I try to do it with you know six docks. If you're going optimal efficiency, if you're trying to be as good as you possibly can, take one ship and stack as many stats down here as you possibly can for an officer that uses them. So if I had a Marcus, for example, right here, so just put Marcus up there, and then he wants to use defense, the most I think I can stack on my account is around 40,000 defense on my enterprise, I think. I'd have to go back and look. Maybe it's 40 or 50,000. That's priority once I've reached 300%. It's something you're going to worry about with higher tier ships, something you're going to worry about as you get into the game. But this is also why we talk about, you know, faction ships feel like they, they start getting good around tier five. Well, what happens around tier five? You start getting more officer slots. You know, you look at, for example, my ISS jellyfish. I can fit underneath the ISS. Wrong button, Rev, idiot. See, I can fit two and then we'll open this slot up in what well, we cut the little okay apparently there it is level 30 my next tier open up another slot tier six you start feeling it gets bigger better stronger that's the advantage more officer slots more stats more you know we're able to stack so anyway over this the video explain the purposes even if we're using big guns like val doors we can swap down to a you know a fendra if we want to the fendra maxing out 220 percent in my attack defense, I don't need any other officers for that, even at tier one. So hopefully this video helped. If it did, I ask that you do what you always do. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you have questions. I want to answer as many as I can. I love interacting with all of you. And then last but not least, like the video if you haven't already. A little thumbs up, subscribe, helps out the channel, and share it out with everybody on your server. My name's Rev. Hopefully I've helped you out. Live long and prosper. Stay safe out of space, Cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Catch you on the next one. And yeah, I am, uh, I'm going to rotate on out now. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.